It is the craziest thing I've ever seen. You guys have this incredible way of just like, and it was growth. <laughs> It was like, yes. I, I, cheated on him, yes. I cheated on him and took all his money, and it was a growing situation. I grew from it. It's just crazy. I, cheating on your husband is like, that's, there's no more ambiguity there. That it's like, you did not tell him you were going to go sleep with someone else. Yeah. You guys have a financial and legal arrangement together, and yeah. possibly children, and you and may live in a place, and you screwed all that up. Yeah. Like, I'm not saying it's the end of the world. You don't need to go to prison for that, but... It's bad. It's no, it's that's my point. It's bad. It's, very shameful. it's pretty bad. Yeah. And I can't think of much worse. That's the thing. Uh, have you ever regretted leaving a guy? If so, why? And if not, have you ever been heartbroken by a guy? Um, I've never regretted leaving. I think I've regretted like putting up with stuff for too long. Hold on. Uh, we're going to say leaving or cheating. I just learned more about myself. Mm. So I don't regret the relationship in general, but probably stayed al I'm I'm like the kind of person where like if I love you and we're in it together like you could <laughs> no like I I will stay by your side up until I need to leave you know what Got I mean mm -hmm. I'm like the kind of like ride or die kind of girl which there's times where I probably shouldn't have been yeah. but at the end of the day I'm not mad about it I learned a lot you know like I learned what I what I need from a relationship what I don't like what to avoid so at the end of the day it's all just a learning experience I don't mm. think I consider no, anything unbelievable like yeah. unbelievable wow, refresh that's that's actually terrific go ahead I have a big heart I have a lot of sympathy and you know no <laughs> but no no but still no okay. <laughs> no have, money, have you ever regretted no. leaving or cheating on a guy I don't have a lot of dating experience and the long-term relationship I did have I did not regret it because I truly believe that people are experiences we're put on this earth to learn and grow from things yes kind of piggybacking off of what you were yes. saying yes <laughs> we see each other girl Red, and, I think you already answered this right you, you don't regret is there any guy you've ever regretted or I haven't regretted leaving anyone I've left all my relationships um, and but I do I have heartbreak I wouldn't call it heartbreak. I would call it growing pains. I have had one Aww. really yeah. bad one, but that's crazy. Paris, have you, is there any guy you have regretted leaving or cheating on? I have not have one that I regretted leaving, but have I cheated? Yes. Did you regret cheating? Yes. Why do you regret cheating? Because I broke so many relationships because of that one cheat. Okay, oh, I will man. tell you right now, we've asked It was an entanglement. We've asked more than 50 girls this question, and that is the uh -huh. first time any girl has ever said that they've regretted anything they've ever done, because the thing that I've noticed is that women <laughs> never <laughs> regret <laughs> leaving a man, <laughs> ever. Like It's like you guys have an evolutionary adaptation to like whenever you leave a dude, it doesn't matter how good he was or how sh you were, mm -hmm. and I'm not saying any of you were, but somewhere among the 50 of you I've asked, someone was sh to their boyfriend and they never regret leaving him. It is the craziest thing I've ever seen. You guys have this incredible way of just like, and it was growth. <laughs> It was like, yes. I, I, cheated on him, yes. I cheated on him and took all his money, and it was a growing situation. I grew from it. It's just I crazy. I, I learned. I learned. I, I learned from, from it. it. Yes. In your opinion, what is the most shameful thing a woman can do? Not have boundaries or self-respect. Okay. Paris. Be embarrassed on camera. Okay. There we go. <laughs> 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 I think just not being honest. Not being honest? I don't know. I kind of agree with Armani. Like, I would say, like, not having self-respect, but I think mm. self-respect looks different to different people. You know, like, I know I do, like, and some people might see that as, like, me lacking self-respect, mm. but I'm in complete control, so it's, it's different to me than it would be from somebody else's eyes. Right. So I think the better way to word it is, like, what Armani said, not having boundaries like if you know like this is your limit or like hey this isn't something i wouldn't normally do but you're gonna do it anyways just to like appease somebody else i think that's shameful that because crazy. then you're not respecting yourself mm -hmm. yeah i thought you think it's interesting like a woman cheating on her husband never came up with any of the yeah, seven you know what? Never no, that was interesting like, i just never yeah, that, that kind of like... would have been the first one for me and I, you want to know something funny if we had asked if we had asked what's the most shameful thing a man can do i have a feeling that would have been the first Answer. Not Cheating on your 
Well, a girlfriend. <laughs> Not necessarily. I thought we were talking about the woman as an individual or male as yeah. an individual. Yes, mm-hmm. I thought right. why I bring up yeah. a partnership. Yeah. Because okay. what she said that's about not being honest, like you're lying. It affects the union and the children. That's what I'm yeah. saying. Like that's why I would that consider that to be. I think if y'all asked the same thing about men, my answer would be the same. Like yeah. a man that lacks self respect and for boundaries himself. and self control. Yeah. As a man, that, that control that yourself. I think my answer boundaries. would be the same. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, if I had a daughter and she got cheated on, I would think that'd be probably the most shameful thing. Mm-hmm. Unless he got went like, to jail for like securities fraud. Or something. Yeah, it'd be it'd be shameful. No, what he did was shameful. Oh, well, yeah. Well, all, all I was gonna say, like before you said anything, was like to be completely transparent is like whatever it's called, lack of transparency. Like yeah. not it's being honest. transparent with yourself, not being transparent with people around you as a woman, and just appealing, like she said, to the norms of society or what everyone expects of you or everything else. Wait, um, what about you guys? Are you guys what? like, have you ever regretted leaving a woman or leaving cheating a chick. on her? Uh, there's been a couple of situations where there was someone who was amazing in my life, and I re- I regret the fact that I didn't like her more than I than I did because yeah, I wasn't ready to se- I didn't ready to settle down. Yes, for sure. That I've definitely had that before. Yeah. But then the, the other thing, like kind of what your answer is, all of it led to me being in a relationship. Now that I'm very you happy. grew. So you You're grew a as a person. For there you go. I guess I grew. So it's a journey of self discovery. I will say this. I will say this. There are two relationships where I was in where I look back and I realize things that I did wrong. I'm glad yeah. they ended. I'm definitely glad they ended. But I can see parts where it's like, oh, damn, I made that really hard for her yeah. to date me. Mm. I remember one girl I was seeing and she and, and I was just like, I remember taking her out one time and I was like, uh, oh, hey, this is my friend Crystal. And I was like, and I introduced her. I was like, oh, this is Crystal. This is, uh, this is my girlfriend. And it was Crystal Hefner, like Hugh Hefner's wife. Mm-hmm. And we're surrounded by a bunch of playmates and then I just kind of realized like oh that must that must not be easy for her yeah. I mean I didn't think about it at the time but later on down the line I was like I don't know th- th- if this is what she signed up for you know what I'm saying gotcha. so I can see how I could have made mistakes mm-hmm. but oh, gosh there's, there's things I regret I've done to people for sure but I don't uh, but regret breaking up probably no no I just do there's people mm-hmm. where it's like they were good to me and I really regret that I couldn't have done more for them yeah. Yeah. I have like zero regrets but it's oh, not, yeah. not not I'm a, st- a tough guy or anything like that. there's things I would have done differently mm-hmm. but I don't regret like the, of the breakups I've had uh, that I have initiated. I don't have any regrets about that. It's just I problem I might have handled them a little different. I don't think I would do anything differently, honestly, because I, I think it's I'm very appreciative of where I'm at in my life. And if I would have done things differently, then I would not be here. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. I, exactly. I love what I got going on right now. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Yeah. Right. Like yeah. not not to be like weird or anything, but like it's just like I had to make those mistakes to get to where I'm at. You know? Exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll tell you what's interesting is like I get this question all the time, and you probably do too, and maybe even you. Like, if you're uh, doing like say MOA, or if I'm talking to a group of guys, I, I get this question quite often. It's like, Rolo, what would the you know 50 year old Rolo say to the 18 year old Rolo? Like, what what uh, basically it's the, they're asking you what advice would you give to the mm-hmm. younger generation kind of thing, right? Uh, it, please just say that. Don't give me because the 18 year old version of me would have told me to. Go, off. That's yeah. basically what I would have said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, ser- I'm dead ass That's serious. So I would have said, to to get the f- out of here. Yeah, I, I know. It could be like you could make a million dollars, like investing and stuff like that. I'm not get out of here. Old man. I, was, I, I would say, I understand. Apple, I understand. Google, yeah. Tesla, yes. Bitcoin, totally buy understand. all of it. Everything you have, yes. sell your. To get money to buy Bitcoin, yes. Yes. sell it at 60K, you're good. Yeah. No Ethereum? Huh? No Ethereum? Yeah, the whatever. Ripple. Yes. Whatever. It doesn't whatever's matter. Gonna be, whatever's going to make you money. Yeah. But no, it's like I get this quite often. And uh, But, you know, the things that I would say is like you have to learn. You have to go through. Yeah. You have to go through to get to become who you are. Because yeah. I think a lot of people like I've got five books. Okay. And in, in the first book, when you've got a bestseller, when you've got when you're making, you know, you're actually people actually want to hear what you have to say. I was more thrilled about the fact that there are people who actually want to read my than actually making any kind of money off of it, which was fantastic. But when people ask me, they'll say, like, you know, what what advice would you give to your younger self? And mine was go through all the bullshit you had to go through to get there because you would not be the same person you are if it were not for you going through hell, right? Yeah. Yeah. Everybody thinks it, and I hate this too, because I'm sure anybody who's in sort of like the positivity, you know, uh, male self-improvement sphere gets the question all the time. And quite honestly, it's like, they think you did everything right. How did you do everything right? What's the secret to your, your the magic, magic secret to your success? It's busting your ass, taking your hits, uh, you know, getting busted in the chops and coming back again and yeah. keep, yeah. keep yeah, doing it and go through it because mm-hmm. if you don't go through that bullshit, you don't become the same person that you are. Yeah. So when people say, "Well, Roll, you did everything right," no, I'm the I'm the sum result of doing everything wrong, man. I, yeah. it, like more stuff wrong than I did right, and I happen to get it right well enough so that I can do what I do right now. Yeah, yeah. I've 
everything multiple times in my life and that's that's why i'm mm -hmm. sober that's why i got into sales right. that's what led me to working for michael mm -hmm. everything that i up led me to doing everything right yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. experience is the best teacher yeah it teaches harsh are, yeah. experience teaches harsh but it teaches best yes yes